Hello everyone. So today we're going to be discussing a very important concept in algebra, and that is called telescoping series. So this is actually one of the more fundamental things, or the things that you learn when you start off with algebra. No matter what exam you're preparing for, whether it be JWE, CMI, ISI, or Math Olympiads in general, telescoping series is something that you should definitely know about. And we're going to be looking at two problems uh, and, and see how telescope actually helps us a lot uh, in solving some series. Okay, so we have two problems, problem three and problem number eighteen, both from IQM twenty twenty one. And in this video, we're going to be looking at a warm up problem, of course. So again, the idea is to kind of get you a little bit intimated towards telescoping series and similar ideas. Then obviously we have a pretty neat problem in telescoping series, and that's actually quite a good demonstration of a complete problem in uh, Olympiads. Then we have some book sessions for the IQM, and at the end, of course, a similar but challenging problem. This video is sponsored by Chinta dot com. Since two thousand and ten, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical Olympiads, physics Olympiads, computer science and informatics Olympiads. ISI CMI entrances and research projects for school and college students. Okay, so they have given us uh, two questions, right? Both of these are from the IQM 2021, and I believe they're actually very fairly solvable if you are uh, familiar with the idea of telescoping. So, what, what, how does this work out? So, for example, they've given us this first question. Let's just try tackling them one by one. First is a little bit easier. You can consider it as a warm-up problem. So sigma from k is equal to one till n of two k plus one divided by k square plus k whole square is equal to nine 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 by ten thousand, and find the value of m. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to notice this expression two k plus one divided by k square plus k whole square. This is entirely, this is you know manipulation with this thing is what uh, would lead us to our result. Right, finding n, and uh, this I can write this as k times k plus one, both whole squared. Right. Now, what do we have over here? We have k squared and k plus one over whole squared. What is k plus one whole squared? K squared plus two k plus one. Well, that's excellent. And what is k squared? Well, k squared is k squared, obviously. Right. And when you subtract these two quantities, k plus one whole squared minus k squared, you actually get two k plus one, which is in the numerator. So you'll actually see why this is really good because I can write the numerator as k plus one whole squared minus k squared, and the denominator is k plus one whole squared times k squared, and we're applying the summation over this, and so I can write this as sigma k plus one whole squared divided by k squared times k plus one whole squared minus k squared divided by k squared times k plus one whole squared, right? So we get sigma. One by k squared minus one by k plus one whole squared, and this runs from. They are given us certain limits, right? K is equal to one till n. K is equal to one till n. So if you evaluate this, this will be nothing but one by one minus one by two squared plus one by two squared minus one by three squared, and this goes all the way up till one by n minus one whole squared minus one by n squared, and this is actually nine 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 by ten to the power four, as they are given us in the question. Now this is what telescoping is. So the terms start cancelling. This gets cancelled with this. This gets cancelled with the next term, and all of these terms really cancel, and this also gets cancelled. So what we're left with is one minus one by n squared is equal to nine 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 by ten to the power four. Or in other words, one minus nine 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 by ten to the power four is equal to one by n squared. So one by n squared is one by ten to the power four, or n squared is ten thousand. So therefore, n is one hundred, and that is our answer. So yeah, this is the concept of telescoping, and essentially, what what is really happening over here? If you saw that series, what was that series? One minus one by two squared plus one by two squared minus one by three squared plus one by three squared minus one by four squared, and so on and so forth. So these terms they're getting cancelled out. Minus plus, minus plus, minus plus, minus plus. All of them are getting cancelled out, and in the end, we are left with one minus one by n squared. This method is called as telescoping. Right? Some people call it the VN method. Also, there are a few names, but telescoping is uh, the relatively common name. And this is a very neat idea. You know, it's just simple. You know, this is observation that uh, led us to this result. And most problems of telescoping are not that hard, honestly. So if you can know this idea, it can really fetch you uh, some good marks. Right? Two markers maybe in the upcoming IQM as well. Now let's move on to the next problem. So next problem they've given us this like weird-looking radical expression and sigma involved, but 
it's actually quite simple if you can observe it right the entire art in problem solving lies in intuition and observation okay so we have sigma from uh, k is equal to 1 till 40 and we have the square root quantity over here 1 plus 1 by k squared plus 1 by k plus 1 whole squared and we need to find out the value of this whatever it is so again just like the last problem the entire essence of this lies in this quantity right 1 plus 1 by k square plus 1 by k plus 1 whole square we kind of need to telescope that right if i just take this as t yeah so what would t be if i just take the lcm and kind of like try to multiply it out k square times k plus 1 whole square uh, what would I get in the numerator? I'd actually get k raised power 4 plus 2k cube plus 3k square plus 2k plus 1. And for those of you who actually know factoring quite well, factorization techniques quite well, we actually realize that this is a very standard known factorization. k square plus k plus 1 whole square divided by k square times k plus 1 whole square. If you do not know this though, how would you kind of um, get the intuition for this? You really need to observe that the coefficient of this is 1. Here it is 2, here it is 3, this is 2, this is 1. Does it remind you of something? 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Yes, this is actually a row in the Pascal's triangle. Right? Pascal's triangle. It's actually one of the rows in the Pascal's triangle, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. And therefore, whenever really you see this, uh, when, whenever you see this, Pascal's triangle should make you remind of squares, perfect squares. That This was essentially an idea. So if you did not know this expression that uh, the whole square of this translates to this, this is somehow that you could have derived it, you know, by noticing these coefficients. So yeah, now once you've done that, then it becomes a little bit easier. So this becomes um, k squared plus k plus 1 whole squared divided by k squared times k plus 1 whole squared. Now what do we do over here? If I just take k common over here, I'll get k plus 1, right? Uh, plus 1 whole squared divided by k times k plus 1 whole squared. And if you actually notice in the question, they had root of this expression. So root of t, we had to analyze root of t. So it would be essentially sigma from k is equal to 1 till I believe it was 40. That would be k times k plus 1. You just take the root of this plus 1 divided by k times k plus 1. Right? So this would essentially be sigma from k is equal to 1 till 40. 1 plus 1 by k times k plus 1. And this can actually be further be telescope. This can further be written down into something simpler. This becomes sigma from k is equal to 1 till 40 of 1 plus 1 by k minus 1 by k plus 1. This is another very uh, uh, important thing to know. And this entire comes under summation. So what this is, is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 till 40 times plus 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. And this goes all the way up to 1 by 40 minus 1 by 41, right? So again, this telescoping happens, all of these things get cancelled. So we are left with 40 plus 1 minus 1 by 41, which is 40 plus 40 by 41. And this, I believe, was A plus B by C. That was something that was given to us in the question. And they asked us to find the value of A plus B, which is 40 plus 40. And this is 80. So yeah, that would be a good place to solve. That, is a, that, that would be the answer to the question. So again... Why these two problems, what I'm trying to show you is that telescope is actually a very important, neat trick, uh, a neat concept to know in Olympiads. And it's actually fairly easy if you can just figure out certain things. So for example, in this question, the key, the key idea was this. If you're fi able to figure out that this is actually a perfect square, then, uh, then that would work out perfectly for you. And you would be able to solve this. And similar in the previous question, all you really needed to kind of grasp was um, that this observation that this is actually the difference in uh, these, these quantities over here. So yeah, uh, telescoping is usually generally a little bit about observation. And once you get that observation, after that, things are very trivial. Right, so I hope you learned a little bit from that. And hopefully, if you get a question in this as IQM, you'll be able to solve it. Okay, so coming out to certain book suggestions for the IQM, we have challenges and through the pre-college mathematics, mathematical circles, the Russian experience, excursion mathematics, rest of mathematics to the 10 plus 2 level, elementary number theory by David Burton, elementary theory of numbers by Sia Pinsky, Principles and techniques in combinatrix, and of course, problem solving strategies by Arthur and Jell. Great, so now we have a couple of similar but challenging problems. I solved two problems for you, so might as well give you two in the homework, right? And both of these are kind of like related to telescoping. Uh, you have to find out the summation. The second is an infinite sum. So we have to sum this as infinity, not till n, as we're doing over here. And the first one is sum from i is equal to 1 to 88. And the first one is actually a very famous problem. It's a very common problem. You'll see them in multiple exams, J, I, S, I, C, M, I. It's come everywhere, essentially, you know. And uh, it's so common that it's now actually demonstrated as an illustration. 
uh, when you learn when you learn this in most books and in uh, most teachers actually teach this in illustration it's a very important question and uh, yeah just try it out maybe give it some thought maybe use some trigonometric identities and if you're able to solve it let me know in the comment section below and i'll help you out until then i'll see you in the next video thank you very much and bye bye the programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one on one training individual evaluation and remedial sessions the reason chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real olympians from leading universities in india united states and europe some of our students come back to teach at chinta from oxford cambridge harvard mit ucla isi cmi iits tfr and iisc for more information visit chinta.com